Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Caps Monster Coliseum, the Libra Mod, Part 7. I really, <laughs> internally in my head, I'm like, am I just making a joke about how long the titles of most of my videos are? And I'm like, no, it's just I keep playing games with really long titles. Anyway, uh, last time we beat Rex, uh, today it is either Mai or Mokuba. We're gonna go with Mai. Because it's the next in order. I don't know why she is fire and not wind. That's a little bit concerning. But uh, let's get rolling. I might have to just like reset because a lot of my pieces are gone. Also, uh, I'm sorry, mommy. <coughs> sorry, mom <coughs> mommy. Sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I don't know what happened there. I blacked out. What happened? I don't know where. Where am I? Where am I? Is it still Digimon? What am I doing? <laughs> what? Huh? What? Huh? Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to come back. I haven't recorded this in a couple weeks. So you finally came, Yugi. Oh, it's the, it's the not correct voice for Vi. This is the, this is the voice they added in season four, I think, when they changed her voice. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know the detail, details on why the voice actor changed for Mai, but it definitely did. It went to sounding like a normal human woman instead of just like, oh, yes, boys, how are you? She doesn't sound like that anymore. Just to let you know, I don't think you can put perfume on the <laughs> to help you like you did at Duelist Kingdom. <laughs> Fucking drag her ass. Get her. Very funny, Yugi. But you should know by now that I don't need to use tricky tactics to win. I've been studying this new game just so that I can defeat Maybe I'm wrong. You. Maybe maybe this is the correct voice actor and I'm so used to the new one now. I don't know. There's there's some voice actor shenanigans in my and I, I can't put my finger on it. Let's duel, Yugi. Your it's like the most lukewarm response he's given to a challenge. It's like, let's duel, Yugi. Fine. I accept your challenge. Alright, let's roll right into it. So we'll try with whatever pieces I have available, and then uh, when that lo when we lose because of that, uh, we'll use some other pieces. I don't really remember too much about this field. I, I think she normally is a wind user, but... Maybe they changed that for this. I don't remember there may being that many fire users, to be honest. All right, let's get into it. Oh, all of my monsters are dead. Every single one, all of them. All right, let's do this. Uh, summon skull. We needed King Rex. This is already level three. Great white because there's a lot of fire monsters here. Uh, do I do the bargain brand shovel crusher? I guess so. I mean, I don't know. I think I keep falling for this trap. I'm gonna take off two headed two -head King Rex. I keep falling for this trap of like trying to just like deploy my strongest monsters and it keeps failing because I keep like, like it's better to have multiple monsters even if they're not very good as opposed to trying to use like your strongest. So. Let's try and get around that. It would I would have like the the one piece that needs to level up would be the one that's broken right now. Great. Oh, uh, what to do? I got 67. I've got two pieces left. Uh, you know what? Just to fill some fucking bodies on the board. Here we go. Not confident in this one, but I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, one thing I want to talk about. Um, like I said, I haven't recorded this in a little while. Um, probably like two or three weeks. But I uh, I recorded up to part 14 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, 2005, Seven Trials to Glory, whatever the full name is. So if you're, uh, if you're one of the people who's watching both of these weekly, first of all, hell yeah. We love to see it. Uh, it is releasing alongside this, so like part 7 of that should be out this week too. But just know it, all, it goes all the way up to part 14 for members and or you'll see it. That's fully recorded in advance, so. Well, not fully recorded. I'm not done with the game, but I just, I recorded a lot. That game is surprisingly more in-depth than I thought it was. But uh, I plan to do the same thing with this game eventually. I don't know if I'm going to do it this weekend, because I'm currently recording this on Sunday. Uh, I might record a couple of them in a row, but just just throwing it out there. That that's that's my recording schedule typically, is I just... Uh, I like to burst record like five uh, or like two to five parts of a series. Uh, and then just like put it ahead for a while. It helps when I'm really into the games, and I've been really liking the games I've been recording lately. This, uh, like I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! 2005, I really like. I've been enjoying uh, Digimon World's uh, Next Order Randomized, which... 
part two will probably come out either before or the day before or the day after this, and I've already recorded up to part 12 for that. <laughs> so that's you can always tell how much I like a game with how much I record in a short amount of time. Uh, who to bring out? Who has the most plus AP? Uh, 63 is a good start. 100 is a great start. It is weird to use Penguin Soldier and not have his, like, really annoying ability. Penguin Soldier is very interesting because... Uh, also, real quick. I don't know that I properly... Ch I Like, I have the mod running, so I I'm... Com com okay, I was going to say, max AP 999. Perfect. I have the mod running, but I was, there's that part of me where it's like, I haven't seen any proof that it's running. <laughs> but I, I was pretty confident. Uh, and we'll do this one. This should give me the most AP points. I can free everyone else next turn. I guess it's just AP, right? AP or action points points. I'll show you techniques that you haven't even imagined. I don't believe you. I think you're gonna attack my pieces with your pieces. Well, that's snail or spike snail. Uh, is that fairy dragon or petite dragon? I love trying to guess the monster just from the, the silhouette. Let's see what we're working right here. Wicked Dragon with the Urzet's head. Petite Dragon, I was right. Harpy Lady, yeah, that tracks. Uh, Flame Manipulator, which is interesting. I wonder what level it is. It might be worth stealing this, and then uh, if they have the other one, no. I'm going to say, this, is it this one in like it's Cherubin the Flame or something that turned into Flame Soldier? So that could be interesting, but we won't. Two Harpy Ladies and a bunch of random fucking monsters. Okay. Um, who are we breaking out? I've got 476 to go. Uh, Shark actually requires a lot. I'm going to free Summon Skull. Since he's my, my big attacker right now. Root Water is probably going to be pretty good here. Root Water, weak as hell. No defense. Just uh, no defense, only uh, attack, seemingly. Uh, you also have no defense. What the fuck? What is with the water monsters? Why are, why is all of your health so bad? Why is all the health of all of my monsters so bad? <laughs> God damn it. I might be confusing what PP is. That might be like before they... Oh no, okay, yeah. I was wrong. It's That's what it was while I was in the symbol. Okay, this looks more normal. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Um. Alright, you're not going to be great, Penguin Soldier. Your range is very bad. So we'll have to be a little careful about that. Same with Happy Lover over here. Uh, but we're working. We're working on it. I don't know what the best strategy here would be. My my gut says that I should wait for Mai to summon all of her monsters and then like form like a blockade at the the part the part in the middle, the like gate. Form a blockade there and then make it so that if they try to cross it, I attack them from like all sides. Because theoretically. It should be possible to do that because they shouldn't be able to attack through it. I don't think you can go up here. Yeah, so. Or maybe you can. Maybe you can go, like, up to another floor here. But I don't know. If it doesn't seem right. I don't think you can. But yeah, my, my reasoning is that this is kind of a choke point. So if I can make it so all of my monsters are, like, ready to attack here, that would be a good, st uh, good start, I think. Alright, you are weak to... You had the advantage on water monsters. Ah, I see why there's so many fire now. Uh, you have the advantage on fire. Okay. I'm gonna pop you ahead. Try and form kind of a line here where I can easily uh, swap into attack if I need to. I think I can move everyone. Uh, Alright. I thought root water would be really good. Root water and uh, the other water monsters would be really good here, but I forgot about all the wind monsters. Which, like, I don't really have a strong... Like, I'm, I'm annoyed by this, but... It would be it would make a lot of sense to bring an Earth Monster here. But I don't really have those. I think what they really need is Forest Monsters, but I have none of those. I'm not training a single Forest Monster. Uh, look at the attribute chart again. So we'll check this. Oh, this is such a confusing way to do this. Again, why don't they just make two separate circles? Why do they have to, like, cross it like this? Uh, anyway... Wind is weak to wood. Fire beats wood. Oh, so that's why. Because if, normally you would just like bring all wood creatures here, and then Mai wouldn't be able to really do much. But she added fire monsters to counter that, which is why I added the water monsters. 
but I don't have a counter for the original wind, which is the whole fucking problem. Uh, but like, I guess dark and light are neutral against that, so I have three of those, and so is electric. So I guess I should be okay, but we'll see. Uh, this is stressful. I've not been so good at this game so far. Like I said, the good news is, if I do lose here, uh, then I reset and I get all my monsters back, so I can make like a more calculated decision. Oh, that's right. It increases the wind on the field. The and effect rate of the environment attribute wind will change. So it makes wind stronger. I don't think any of my monsters are weak to wind. Or no, isn't that what water is? Wind beats water for some fucking reason. Um, so my water monsters are a little bit weak. And they're a little bit buffed up. Yeah, let's see. I can attack you as is. Uh, summon Skull cannot get over there. I think if I go here, Petite Dragon can't hit Summon Skull. Uh, what's your movement? Move three, attack one. So as long as I stay two spaces away, I should be okay. So we'll move Summon Skull here. Um, so they can move, bup, bup, and then attack Happy Lover, or here, and then attack anything in these spaces. They can move to the left, and then attack one forward. Blame Manipulator also has a lot of movement. The same movement, actually. So one, two, three. So we want to avoid these spaces next to Summon Skull as well. Okay. I guess the... Shut up. <laughs> I'm thinking. You can't do both. You can't make me lose because I'm not thinking and then also goad me into not thinking. I refuse. Um, all right. I can root, move Root Water up a little bit. I'm gonna move Happy Lover back. I think we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of bait here. I think I might move Happy Lo Lover to the side. No. So this is within. So any of this is within range, I think, because they can move up to where Happy Lover currently is. So I should move two back. Hmm. Um. I think moving left and right is the, sh is the move here. So let's move to the right out of the range. And then Shovel Crusher can move pretty much wherever I need to to be able to get an attack here. So I'm not too worried about that. And it's currently not able to be hit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And Zodia, I also want to move you somewhat into position, but not really. I, I think I need to move you slightly over here. Assuming that they go forward. And then Penguin Soldier, similar deal here. I should be able to move next to you, next to Petite, or uh, yeah, Petite Dragon, get an attack that way. I know it's just a Petite Dragon, but with the way that monsters have been one-shotting me, I'm just, you know, we're just, we're just playing it safe. All right, I'll leave you where you are for now. I don't really know what else to do with you. I should move the shark up. Oh my god, the shark has, like, no stats Stop here. Dating. Shut up, my! I'm busy! Uh, okay. I think just moving it up slightly... I think this is enough where I can maneuver to attack. I forgot about that attack pattern. It's actually very annoying. Uh, alright. Let's see what happens. Summon Skull's up a little further than I'd like him to be, but... That's okay. I forgot about that thing. A little bit predictable, but that's okay. Hmm, okay. I actually like that. I should be able to advance a little bit here. Um, so I want to focus Summon Skull's attacks. Oh, special ability. I forgot you had that. Hold on now. Inflicts damage on all enemies within attack range. So I could theoretically just go whoop. And then, oh no, the special attack has to be before. Or you, you can't move and do it. Okay. 185, huh? What's my current attack? Hurry up. Shut up! <laughs> I'm not even taking that long. I don't understand what you're doing. Uh, 173. So that almost kills. But the attack is 220, naturally. And then this one would be 185. But I don't know if it hits exactly like that. It doesn't matter. I, uh, I'm just going to attack with... I'm just going to attack Summon Skull. Or I'm going to attack Petit Dragon with Summon Skull. 
that slow turn. I should be able to finish this off with another monster. <clears throat> Was that overkill? No such thing. Nice attack. What? Why'd you say that in that tone? Uh, all right. Make this easy. Attack here. Oh, I'm realizing I might not have multiple monsters to attack Flame Manipulator. But that's okay. It might just be Exodia. Maybe Exodia, because I think Summon Skull's in the way. I guess I should have moved Summon Skull if I was going to do this attack. Oh my god, does Peach Dragon open its mouth? Ew, I guess it does. Alright, that's one. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, so Exodia can't attack from this direction. Um, Root Water can, and I was kind of counting on that, but I need another monster to attack, or I need another way to attack. Oh, here we go. Mm, I don't know, though. That's moving up pretty far. Although they can't attack dead on this way. And then this one has a really weird attack or a weird movement that I don't think I could like. It's weird. It's, oh, I forget. I might be thinking of like Final Fantasy Tactics, but I do kind of wish you could, uh, you could like see the enemy movements like easily. Like see what, what they're capable of. I think I might get an attack here from Shovel, where that hits Shovel Crusher, but this should be worth it to, to do some serious damage here. It's also weird that she hasn't un or she hasn't I, I guess the word is hatched. <laughs> she hasn't hatched three of her monsters yet. Which feels odd. Like I guess one of the strategies you might be able to use in this is just like take a monster with like three movement and a good attack and just like rush her. But I don't know. You're starting to annoy me. Take it easy, will you? That does not match the intensity of your portrait there. I'm sorry. Take it easy, will ya? Gosh. All right, nice. All right, we're making moves, we're making moves. I'm playing more conservatively and I'm not enjoying it, but I'm winning, so I guess I do enjoy that part. Just remembering all those times that Root Water wrecked my entire team. And now you work for me. All right, two down. Uh, we should be moving up. Just so we have like more, more movement options, or more attack options, I should say. Um, could move you here. Yeah, that's fine. I still want to hold the line here. I don't want to advance too far, but they currently only have two, so I feel like maybe this is the time to advance further. Catch them off guard before she can like set up a strategy with her remaining monsters. I guess tonight is ladies' night. I don't know what that means, by. <laughs> So are you hatching a harpy lady? Like, what? Ah, interesting. That's a long shot. But they did move up pretty far, which means we should be able to attack them from here. I think this is a wind monster, right? I also don't really care about this Exodia. I just brought them because, like, I needed a lower tiered monster. It's such a weird animation. Uh, I just brought Exodia here just because, like, I need another monster. I don't really care. They're already level two. I'm not really worried about it. I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. I was concentrating. I just their movements are too perplexing for me. Is this what you meant by ladies' night? Did you do this out of order? <laughs> like, okay, so they summoned them all. Okay, interesting. Every move is another step in achieving my future. Every step that I take is another mi Um, so if we move here, I can attack from there, but I think it's a it's a wind monster, so Yeah, so water isn't gonna hurt it that much, but I can still do the damage. Um Exodia will not be able to hurt anyone, unfortunately, which means I think I might need to take a step back, maybe, or like I don't I don't I don't quite know what I want to do with you yet. 
Summon Skull is a little bit exposed, but I can't currently... Oh, I can. I can move to this position to try and hit them. I guess that would probably be the strongest attack I can do here, and then I would have to figure out who's dealing the finishing blow. Uh, which I don't currently know. I think this strategy is sound, though. Um, I don't want to put Brute Water front and center. I'd like to keep my non-water monsters good, because we have two Harpy Ladies to deal with still. Alright, so 112. And let's see what you do. Probably not 112. 112, 67, so that's 189. Oh, that should be enough. Okay. Let's do it, I guess. You can tell how confident I sound about this one. Um, what, what level are you? Level one? All right, let me, let's let you get some levels. I think this should work. My math should, should stand up here. But I'm genuinely not sure. Oh man, I'm gonna have to put Shovel Crush on one of these thumbnails eventually, aren't I? I've been using it for so long. <sighs> they have been an MVP. I mean, realistically, I'd probably put Harpy Lady on this thumbnail. <laughs> Don't think I'll forget this. Again, that's such a weird, awkward line read. The the voice direction in this game is not top tier. Ah. My math was wrong. Unfortunate. I guess I wasn't taking into account the like different space. Or maybe I was. Who knows? Who cares? It's not important. So I can just do this. Will you get the kill if I do this? No. Okay. That's fine. Still worried about that snail, but I don't think it really has the power to one-shot anyone here. And it's also a fire monster, so I'm actually less worried. It's the wind monsters who are going to give me trouble here. Because they're powered up by the environment, and I don't have a, a wood monster to deal with them. This thing's a little tankier than I thought it was going to be. It also hits pretty hard. I'm still not worried about the Harpy Lady or the Jigadu Bakudan. I forget what its name is, the Bakugan. I'm not worried about the Bakugan either. Because uh, they still need a turn to like get closer. Also, I forgot you had, like, shoulder pauldrons. You're, you're a weird design. You're very weird. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. I just, I platinum Dave the Diver, like, a month or two ago. And, uh, <laughs> I saw a lot of weird sharks, and this was not one of them. I think this, I think your shark is broken, game. Uh, I'll move you up here, because I don't think anyone can really get to you, and I'm going to need to try and get to the spot where the snail is. Uh, probably, I can only move you sideways here. Uh, Exodia's piece will be a, a good lure. I can see them, uh, wanting to attack it because it's already damaged. Four movement, dude! One, two, three, four, five. So I can move Exo or I can move Summon Skull up one. And not take a pot shot. But that is concerning. One, two, three, four, five. So they're going to attack Happy Lover for sure. Probably combine it with the snail. So Happy Lover's probably down. Unless I give them a more interesting target. Uh, which I will. Although I guess they both could hit this one. So they, they probably wouldn't. Um, but I think it's still out of shot. I think it's still out of range here. And if it's not, then it's bait. And that's fine. How we doing in, uh, symbol? We, we, we doing well? We, we hanging in there? I don't actually know what you do, truth be told. I don't know how much you, like, power up my monsters. I don't think you really do. It's only for thunder monsters, I believe. Alright. Let's see what happens. It is seven on four. So I'm pretty confident right now, but that could all change. Ah, you went for Shovel Crusher. And fucking destroyed him, dude? Shovel Crusher. What the fuck, dude? Stop getting one-shotted. Every fucking battle with you. What do I need to do to make this different? What the fuck? There's like three different symbols that are like exclusively for glass cannons, and then it never works when I use them. It don't, like... <laughs> like, Spiked Snail is not gonna die in one hit. Which is bullshit. <sighs> That's annoying. I guess he's just fine. He wasn't doing that much. As expected. 
also as expected. I figured that Harpy Lady would be really, really jacked up. <laughs> I hope you love surprises because I prepared a great one just for you. That's a weird way to phrase that. Like, wouldn't it be better to be like, I hope you like surprises, because surprise, <laughs> I don't know, like, it feels strange. Ah, it's very censored, Harpy Lady. <laughs> it's, 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 hey, it's not, it's not weird if we put them in a bodysuit. That'll get past the censors, and they were right. Oh, I didn't even look at him. Ooh, that's not good. You could if that wind could die down, that'd be really good. That could fuck. Okay. We're in a we're in a rough spot here. It's my turn. Oh man, alright. You have 198, 201 attack. You do have a lot of attack. I mean, this should be simple, just attack with the water monsters. I cannot believe you don't die from that. That's insane. How am I doing less damage to you? I don't understand the rules. No, nobody has informed me of the rules. Uh, I think I might just sacrifice my water monsters here to try and try and take out some. I don't know. I mean, none of this makes sense. Good news is I get a free attack with Exodia here, and I'm gonna take it. I debated let moving Exodia's foot up further so that uh, they would focus on like the monster behind them, but then I think that would pull them a little bit further away. I love the kick. It's so good. What does the arm do? The arm, like, takes the chain and, like, whips it around and smacks them with it. And the foot is just kick. Oh, how do I deal with all of you? Hmm. I currently only have four monsters. Which monster died? Which one did I let get destroyed? Oh, no, I have five. I, I, I only I used one already. Okay. So here's the weird part. Root water can attack or the shark can attack. They can't both attack, which is frustrating, given that the way that the movement works in this game. Uh, also frustrating, penguin soldier also cannot attack from here. Too far back. So root water, I can do this. Move, uh, move them sideways. So they'll do even less damage. 108, so it won't be enough to kill. Oh, that's so annoying. Alternatively, move Summon Skull here to try and, like, focus their attacks a little bit. Summon Skull can get the kill. Okay, so that's good. I can take out one of the Harpy Ladies. Um, and if I take that Harpy Lady out, this one won't really be able to do much from here. It'll also take Summon Skull, like, away from the line of fire. So that's probably the best move. I'm going to do this one moving forward. So we'll do this. Still worried about this fucking snail. Still don't know what to do with uh, Penguin Soldier either. I might use Penguin Soldier as bait. So I don't think it's going to get a lot of attacking done. Okay. Ah, Yugi's in the lead. Ah, Yugi's in the lead. You know I'm against you, right? Like, why were you so like positive about that? Um, yeah, I can't attack anyone else from this from this range, so it just makes sense to go after the snail. And you, I also can't really move up the penguin that far because I put summon skull here. I can't move root water anywhere either. Oh, I guess we could do this, right? Yeah, this might not be a bad idea. We can just attack it from both sides. That should be enough to kill it. I was scared for a second. I mean, I would hope it's enough. It is putting some of my monsters in danger, but at this point I do have five, and if this goes well, she'll only have two. So, I've earned the right to be a little risky. Even if she manages to one-shot two of my monsters, I'll still have three and she'll have two. So, I'm okay taking this risk. As long as this fucking snail dies, then I'm fine taking this risk. You're starting to annoy me. Take it easy, will you? I just, it's so... It seems so uninspired. It, it just sounds like, it sounds very first take to me. 
And it's like, again, it's not just her. It's like every single voice actor in this game. And like, I know this game is filled with voice actors. It just, it was just like, hey, can you read this line? And they, they read it and they're like, all right, good, moving on. It's like, you don't want to get a little more, just like, uh, like oof from it. It's also very flat. I can't explain why either. Like, I don't think any other, like, not a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh games have voice acting, but like, you can definitely tell in this one that it's like, kind of whatever. All right, that's all of my monsters. They got two left. I think Rootwater's probably gonna attack by Harpy Lady, whether they move to the left or the right, I don't know. They might go for Exodia's piece as well, which I would prefer because then it'll be closer to the other monsters. Uh, Jigen Bug uh, Bakudan is gonna be a little bit more difficult to move into place. Is he, he moves diagonal. So he would have to go here, or more likely here. So he'll attack Rootwater, I think. And he'll attack from here. Uh, or here. He could do either. Actually, he'll probably do this one, because he'll attack Exodia and Rootwater with that attack. Um, I think that's what that means, right? We'll see. Let's see what, we'll see what shakes out. I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with where we are, but also a little scared. Yep, expected that. That's fine. That brings her back into range of, uh, of Summon Skull. <laughs> I hope you love surprises. Why? Because I prepared a great one just for oh, you. okay. Thank you, Mai. I appreciate it. I'm glad she told me that. Glad she warned me about a surprise, which is like the one thing you're not supposed to do with surprises. <laughs> but I'm glad that she did it. Thanks. <laughs> That's a pretty cool animation for Harpy Lady. I like the zoom in. And she gets two different attacks. I don't remember if Harpy's sisters are in this game, but I wonder what their attack looks like. As expected. You don't even get close to killing. Okay, I think we're in a good spot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was kind of terrifying. Actually, I'm going to level with you. I looked at my phone during the animation. I actually, I, I just heard the clock ticking and then <laughs> I didn't even look at the animation. I'm sorry. That was really rude of me. I'll have to look back at it the, in the edit. I'm not very focused today. Uh... Hold on. <laughs> I did a video today. In uh or I did a video a couple weeks ago in Tony Hawk's Underground. And I like I basically say I don't know anything about about skaters. I don't know anything. Uh but like they have a scene early on where someone called Chad Muska is uh is in is like visiting is like a celebrity and I'm like who the fuck is Muska? <laughs> and then I got a comment saying, had to check out when you said who is Muska. And I was like, alright, well probably for the best. You wouldn't have made the rest of the video. <laughs> it's, it's it's just a lot more of that. But if you want to see someone who doesn't know any fucking thing about skating, uh play a skating game, please check out the Tony Hawk Underground video. I think I'll do more of it because I think it's a short game. But uh I was enjoying what I was playing, so it was just, it's just so silly. It's so, like, such a perfect time capsule of the early 2000s. Uh, while also being, like, I was talking about it, and I was like, this game sold, and this and, like, Pro Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 sold so well. But, like, was skating ever really that popular? I could not name a single other skater besides Tony Hawk. And, like, that's because I don't, like, obviously it wasn't my scene, but I was like, was the skating scene that big? Like, was it me who was just missing out? Which is totally pe fair and maybe possible. But I was like, You're starting to am I, sorry, I'm annoying Mike because I'm talking about skating. But I was like, I was like, is it just me? Like, is, did I just, like, miss out on a bunch of stuff? Or, like, are, is the game, like, really, really assuming that you know who these people are? Uh, which it has the right to. I, like it's it's a it's a skateboarding game. It's allowed to put in skateboarding celebrities, but it was like it was acting like I was supposed to know who all of them were, and I was like, I have never so seen some of these people in my life. But uh, it's fair. 
It's just, just one of those funny things you get to deal with. Alright, one more. I don't think my remaining monsters are going to be enough to take out Harpy Lady, but... I can, I can try to, like, box them in. And maybe? Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. We'll do this way. I can't really box them in, but... I can, like... Sort of box them in? Give them less options? The only option that can really go is backwards now, but... The game won't really do... I guess the game will do that, right? It did that with Twin-Headed King Rex. Where, like, it would just avoid getting my attack zone and would not, like, make the first move. So maybe that's what Harpy Lee will do. But I think once they get in the zone, auto zone, uh, <laughs> I think once they get in the zone, that's they, like, no always try to attack. Uh, Penguin Soldier, I wish your movement was a little bit better. But yeah, this is what I meant. It's like, if I put Penguin Soldier here, they would have to move here to attack it. And it's a pretty, pretty tasty target. I think they'll, they'll go for Penguin Soldier. Oh, they went for root water. I guess that makes sense. Root water was already attacked. <laughs> I hope you love surprises. Oh, why? Because I prepared a great one just oh, for you. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Thank you, Mai. Oh my god, nobody ever does any surprises for me. You look at Mab when I repeat dialogue that the game repeats. <laughs> I'll never forget how upset people got when I played uh, Digimon World Dawn. And do either due to a translation thing or just really badly written dialogue or just something like that, they constantly repeat the name of the teams in that game. Where they, uh, they, I think it was like Night Crow, which is already a mistranslation. I think it was Night Claw, and then like something Fang, is that what it was? But they, or I think Light Fang and Night Crow. And I think they say Light Fang and Night Crow about. Uh, conservatively, maybe like 150 times in the first hour of that game. And I just like said it in a weird voice every single time. And uh, people got upset because they were like, I can't stand this bit every time you do it. I'm like, I don't blame me. The game is the one who keeps saying it. Like, what do you mean? I'm just reading it. Like, that's not my fault. I'm like, I don't, don't blame me for my, like, quipping on my. She's the one who keeps fucking saying it. I'm getting defensive. This anyway. Man, Summon Skull is really uh, pulling through lately. He was, uh, he was a little squishy when we fought Weevil, but he's, he's really coming to his own. Between uh, Rex and Mai, he's, uh, he's been the MVP. I, I think there are better monsters in the game. I think Summon Skull is uh, more of like a high to mid-tier. The, the upper middle class, if you will, of monsters. But uh, I don't know how much more. Even though I lost, I don't regret anything. Yes, what was? What? What do you mean? What? Are you okay? Oh my, what? Oh, we uh, won on first try. Haven't done that in a while. Yugi, there are two ways of losing. Nope, just, there's a couple. I mean, you can uh, destroy the symbol. Uh, that's one way to, to lose. You can have all your monsters destroyed. Um, damn it, she's right. There is only two ways to lose in this game. <laughs> I was thinking of original Yu-Gi-Oh! Where I was like, no, I mean, you can... You can draw too many cards. You can lose by direct damage to your life points. You can lose uh, by monsters direct attacking. Uh, you can lose uh, through Exodia. You can lose through Final Flame or Final Countdown. You can lose through Destiny Board. There's so many ways to lose, my. One way is to lose everything. Oh my God, shut up. The other so way is to lose a battle in order to win the war. How does that work in a tournament? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that that doesn't make sense. I'm going to learn from this loss so that I can become strong, and I will beat you in the future. I mean, maybe, but it'll be an exhibition match, so it won't mean anything. And I will achieve my dream in the end. I fought with all my strength. <laughs> I'm so distracted. I'm so distracted by the weather vane behind us. <laughs> because that thing is fucking going. This was an excellent match. It was a pretty good match. 
I think I prepared pretty well, but I think Mai easily could have overtaken me if I wasn't as careful. She had the power to do it. I was just being very cautious. Uh, Alright, more symbol. Oh, we got Great White and Summon Skull to level up. Uh, yeah, I think I want to level up. Call me crazy, but I think I think I would appreciate it if you had more abilities, yes. I, I was thinking that would be pretty cool. Uh, this one's not that significant. I really only a couple stats go up, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. This is a tough decision. Uh, the Heartbeat, they're all level 2, except for uh, Bakugan. Uh, Flame Manipulator would save me some time on Fusion later, but I don't. I, I suspect others. Also, it's not Spike Scales, Mechanical Snail, I got it wrong. Uh, I mean, I think just the two Harpy Ladies. I don't think you can buy those. I think there might be a fusion of them, but I'm not sure. Save data, you bet. I won that too easily to like the point where I'm like, I have to like think of them like, did I? Did I run the mod? I can see the mod running. Like, I know I did. And also, the, the AP was 999, so I, I, that was my other confirmation. Uh, we're at 42 minutes, give or take. Uh, do I fight Mokuba now? I don't think I do. I've been doing a lot of hour, hour 15 length videos, but the target is supposed to be like 45. I'm just very bad at hitting my target. I like always like try and go more, especially since I do weekly videos, but... I think I might just keep it short. Or here, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna surrender to Mokuba so that we can get all our monsters back. But we'll go. Th we'll play through his dialogue the first time, so we can just skip it the next video. That'll that'll be my uh, my treat to you. Also, he looks so weird. <laughs> his his torso seems like a human sized torso, but then his legs are really short. But also, like the angle is weird. I don't know. It's a lot there. I can't really figure it all out. Look at those textures. Oh, 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 God, it's it's so jagged. Welcome to my stage, Yugi. I want to say if he if he says Big Brother, I'm gonna do the thing. So just be ready for that. It will happen. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a Capsule Monsters expert. True. That's that's true. That's not a that's not just a joke. He is. It was his whole thing. I I mentioned I mentioned this briefly, but in the original manga, uh, Mokuba is in fact the champion of Capsule Monster. I, I think it's just, it's kind of implied because, like, Kaiba just, like, never tries to play it. Like, he's just completely uninterested. But Mokuba is the, like, reigning Capsule Monster champ. And he duels Yugi and Capsule Monsters twice, I think. Once with a rigged machine, and then once with, like, an even more rigged machine. So he's never even had, like, a fair match against Yugi. Also, even in his own game, even in the Capsule Monster GB, the Game Boy Color one, uh, Mokuba, I think, is the second boss out of five bosses. So it's funny that he's also the second boss here. Even even though it's supposed to be a specialty, even the devs are like, oh, but but it's Mokuba, so let's not, you know. But when we played before, did oh, look at that! It's canon! Hell yeah. Uh, well, whatever. Got his ass. That's all in the past. I've gotten a lot better since then. Okay, I believe you. There's no need to know. <laughs> it will never not be funny. When, <laughs> so when someone just deadpan delivers, okay, I believe you. It's just, there's, <laughs> it's so, this is, okay, this is a rare case where I think the wooden dialogue really works. I fucking love it. Okay, I believe you. It's just so. <laughs> anyway, Yugi, I challenge you to a duel. I accept, Mokuba. Oh, all right. There's no more than that. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> If you say it straight faced enough, it sound it could not sound more sarcastic. Like, okay, I believe you. It's like you definitely don't believe that person. He has, I think, a dark crystal. Or I mean, like, he might have an electric one. I'm just gonna set, I'm gonna check what his monsters are, and we'll go from there. But I'm just gonna just gonna play like one. Just play summon skill by himself. Oh yeah, that is the same color as Mokubus. I could have just randomly placed these, but it didn't matter. 
It's time to start. I just you have one line, Yugi, and you keep messing it up. Alright, I don't have to summon him, so I'm just checking the field real quick. What's the button to to switch the map orientation? That's no, L2 and R2, okay. So we got this big generator thing. I assume this eventually will create electricity, like this general area. That would be my guess at a map mechanic. Uh, let's see. We have Kaminari Kozo. Kaminari Kozo. Terror the Terrible. Terror! Release the darkness within! Um, we have Ocelot Hero number two. Uh, Needle Ball. And Needle Ball. This is a pretty lackluster team you got here. Not an ace in sight. Uh, so it's all dark and electric. Which means I need light monsters for... I need light monsters to deal with the dark monsters, and my dark monsters... Uh, can't, I guess... No, I guess there is no real advantage to dark monsters in this field. Actually, that's not true. I guess if I use my dark monsters, they don't really have an advantage. Because uh, dark doesn't interact with, with thunder. And then... Thunder is weak to earth. So I guess my what I should bring is like a little bit of everyone. I should bring dark, earth, light, and thunder, so that uh, I have options. Okay. Good to know. I surrender. I'm out of the tournament. I forget to try again. Put me right back in. I think it does. Fuck. <laughs> no. No. I didn't want to do this. No. No. All right. The good news is, after we beat Mokuba, it should be a, uh, it should be a straight shot, or not a straight shot. It should just be the next. Uh, what was I gonna say? Once we beat Mokuba, it'll just be the next, uh, next chapter. So we'll have five new opponents. Anyway, you don't need to see all this. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, tune in for part eight. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.